Hi, I'm Dryden Pence. Today I'm going to talk about a key part of our investment process. It's where we identify, we always look at big noble things, but then we identify what we call our choke points. And this is kind of novel to our firm, so much so that we've been able to actually trademark the term choke point investing. So I'm going to cover what's a choke point, give you some examples, and tell you why it's really important. You see, choke point is actually a military term. It means a, a point in place and time where everything kind of get, gets constricted. You've got to go through the choke point to get from where you are to where you want to be. So you think of it as it's like a bridge over a river. You want to get to the other side of the river. Unless you're going to swim, you've got to go across the bridge. Well, the guy that controls the bridge controls whether or not you're satisfied. So that's very important. When you look at the supply chain of human demand, and you reflect on that and you say, this is the key part in a business process. And you recognize that the guy that controls the choke point in the supply chain of human demand, while well, they were able to really control what's going on, they can dominate in that space. You see, you kind of want to be a toll road where everybody has to pay to get through a little bit of money so they can get to the other side from where they are to where they want to be. So when you think of it from investing, you see, I don't care whether it's AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile or Sprint. I want to be the tower on the hilltop that everybody has to rent from so that their networks work. It's kind of like a little monopoly. And like, I don't care who wins cola wars, Coke or Pepsi. I don't care. I want to be the lining inside the can that both of them have to buy, so the drink does not taste like aluminum. You see, so from an investment standpoint, we can look at all of the supply chains and do the hard research, but figure out where's a company dominant? Where do they control that supply chain? Because the companies that do, well, they have pricing power. And pricing power turns into excess earnings. And excess earnings turns in to better performance, whether through a higher growth or through a higher dividend. I hope that this explains choke point investing for you. It's a novel approach. As a matter of fact, we've been able to trademark it. And I hope that this helps. Thank you very much.